So we have a function that satisfies the limit as x goes to 2 equals 3. We can confirm that down in this picture here as x approaches 2, our y value approaches 3. We're going to determine the largest value of delta that satisfies this statement. I'll make sure that a link is popping up right now to a video that explains the concept of epsilon delta proofs. And in that video, we decided this notation right here is a compressed way to write x is between 2 minus delta and 2 plus delta. And this notation right here means that our function value or our y value is between 3 minus 1 half and 3 plus 1 half. And we'll start here. Where on this graph is f of x or the y value of this function between 3 minus 1 half and 3 plus 1 half? Well, 3 minus 1 half is here and 3 plus 1 half is here. So this inequality is satisfied in this range right here. Now the question this problem is asking is for what x values are the y values on this graph in this range? Well, we can kind of draw dotted lines to connect our x values and our y values. But it looks to me like if our x values are in this domain down here between 1 and 3, then our y values are going to be up in this range between 2 and a half and 3 and a half. So the delta that we're looking for is the delta that makes this inequality, this domain here, go from 1 to 3. That delta is going to be half of this distance here. Or you can see just algebraically if we plug in delta equals 1 that our x values are going to be between 1 and 3, which is what we're looking for. So let's run through this notation again. Let's write this sentence out with that delta plugged in. This sentence says that if x is between 1 and 3, then y is between 2 and a half and 3 and a half. Saying this another way, if x is within a distance of 1 from 2, then y is within a distance of 1 half from 3. Okay, all of that may have been a long-winded way to say that the answer to this problem is delta equals 1. Let's do the same problem, except this time right here we have a value of 1 fourth instead of 1 half. I'm going to erase this stuff on this graph, and let's do this problem again. What this line here says is that we want our y values to be within a distance of 1 fourth from the value of 3. So that would be right here on this graph. If we trace these y values over to our graph and look at their corresponding x values, we notice that the corresponding x values go from 1 and a half to 2 and a half. That means we have to stay within a distance of 1 half from the x value of 2. That immediately tells us that our value for delta needs to be 1 half. And let's write out that sentence one more time. This sentence says that if our value of x stays within a distance of 1 half from the value 2, then our y value is going to stay within a distance of 1 fourth from the value 3. Again, that just means that the answer to this problem is delta equals 1 half. And really, this problem is just intended to try to get you used to some of this notation. Our epsilon delta definition of a limit uses all this notation. So hopefully, understanding a problem like this is an intermediate step to understanding epsilon delta definitions for limits. But okay, I think that went a little long this time, so I'm going to stop it there and we'll move on to the next problem tomorrow.